Hello everyone. Today we've got an incredibly informative topic that many of you have been curious about. Crown hair transplants. Hair loss can be a challenging experience and finding the right solutions is crucial. In this video, we will discuss crown hair transplants, exploring the procedure, benefits, and everything you need to know. To begin, let's talk about crown hair loss. The crown, or the vertex, is the area at the top of the head where hair loss can occur. It's a common concern for both men and women, often leading to self-esteem issues. Genetics, hormonal changes, and aging are significant factors contributing to crown hair loss. Now, what exactly is a crown hair transplant? Well, it's a surgical procedure designed to address hair loss in the crown area by transplanting hair follicles from donor areas, usually the back or sides of the head to the balding region. This technique is a subset of traditional hair transplantation methods, such as FUT, follicular unit transplantation, or FUE, follicular unit extraction. Before undergoing a crown hair transplant, a thorough consultation with a qualified hair transplant surgeon is essential. During this process, the surgeon assesses the patient's candidacy, discusses expectations, and outlines the procedure. It's crucial to have realistic expectations, and the surgeon will guide you through the potential outcomes. Once the decision is made to proceed with the crown hair transplant, there are some essential preparations. Patients are typically advised to avoid alcohol and smoking in the weeks leading up to the surgery. Additionally, certain medications may need to be adjusted or temporarily stopped to minimize potential complications. Now, let's dive into the procedure itself. On the day of the surgery, the patient's scalp is numbed using local anesthesia. Depending on the chosen technique, FUT or FUE, the surgeon extracts individual hair follicles or a strip of tissue containing follicles from the donor area. These follicles are then carefully implanted into the crown area, ensuring a natural and aesthetically pleasing result. After the surgery, proper recovery and postoperative care are crucial for optimal results. Patients may experience some swelling, redness, or mild discomfort but these side effects are temporary. It's essential to follow the surgeon's post-operative instructions, including taking prescribed medications and avoiding strenuous activities during the initial recovery period. Now let's talk about the exciting part, the results. Hair growth post crown hair transplant is a gradual process. The transplanted hair follicles go through a shedding phase before new hair begins to grow. Patients typically start seeing noticeable results within a few months, with full results becoming apparent after about a year. There are several benefits to opting for a crown hair transplant. Firstly, it provides a permanent solution to crown hair loss. Unlike some non-surgical alternatives, the transplanted hair is resistant to the effects of DHT, the hormone responsible for hair loss. This means long-lasting, natural-looking results. While crown hair transplants have proven to be effective for many, it's important to consider potential risks and complications. These can include infection, scarring, or an unnatural appearance if not performed by a skilled surgeon. Choosing a reputable and experienced hair transplant clinic significantly reduces these risks. Let's address another common concern the cost of crown hair transplants. The price can vary depending on factors such as the clinic's location, the surgeon's experience, and the chosen technique. While it's an investment, many clinics offer financing options to make the procedure more accessible to a broader range of individuals. For those who may be hesitant about surgery, there are alternative treatments for crown hair loss. These include medications like monoxidil and finasteride, as well as non-surgical procedures such as PRP, platelet-rich plasma therapy. It's essential to discuss these options with a qualified healthcare professional to determine the most suitable approach. And that's all. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Thanks for watching.